I just realized I did not have my mic on. So very quickly I'm going to run through these again. I've got Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic. This is Creative Inspirations Copper in this cup. Uh, by Creative Inspirations is Jerry's Artorama. Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray, which is like a dark turquoise color. I have Van Dyke Brown by Creative Inspirations in this little cup, and I added Liquitex Iridescent Medium to it to make it sparkly, but I can't really say that it's that much sparklier. This one was Master's Touch Sky Blue with a little bit of Thalo Cyanine Blue added to it. And then this one was White, Master's Touch Sky Blue, and Aqua Green from Artist Loft added to that. All of these are mixed one-to-one -one with Oatrol Easy Flow, which is the European version of Floetrol. This is available outside of the United States for those that can't get Floetrol. You can get it at OatrolUSA.com or from Amazon in my recommendations link below my videos. So I do a one-to-one -one ratio that I'm going to do a dip with two canvases that are 11 by 14. I'm going to speed through the mixing process and I'll be back in a minute. So I have two 11 by 14 canvases and I'm going to put all my paint on this one, turn this one over and press it against the other one that's called smashing or dipping. So I'm going to get busy with my white base coat first. I did not add silicone to any of these colors. I didn't want cells per se, but there, there will probably be cells that pop up and that is okay. I just did not want an overload of cells. I want this to be a little bit more organic and maybe abstract if you want to call it. So I'm just basically spreading it to the edge and when I smash the other one, this will squeeze out on the sides and then I'll come back and add white to the edges of this canvas once I do that. So basically first I just want to figure out what design I'll put. I didn't have my butane filled up in my torch but I remembered I had refilled it. so. A little less noisy than the heat gun. So I'm just kind of doing random. You don't, you don't really know how it's going to come out. Okay.
All right. Here we go. That's pretty cool. That's what I need. There's more paint on this side, but I wanted more. I'm going to take I'm going to take my palette knife cuz I can control I think better. Or should I just blow with a straw? I'm going to see if I can let it trickle down a little bit. This paint will be as thick as what's on this side, so... But it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to trickle over. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to leave it. So no silicone and it's got cells. And now I'm going to fill in the, the white areas that are a little thin. And then I'm going to take my palette knife and just add paint to the bottom here. So that it feels like the other one some. A bit, anyway. Okay, so I want to do I think I want to do something like right there on either one of them. Just a little bit and maybe something here. Um, but try to keep it similar feeling. So I'm going to do a little brown, a little white. Prussian blue, pale blue. Copper and the medium blue. And I'm going to use a skewer and just swish through it a little bit. And I'm going to make it to a point. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more of that deep blue on top. I want I want that to be definitely in it. So I'm going to take my skewer. And if you can't hold your hand the way you need to, move things so that you can. I think this is still on the camera, yeah. I'm sticking my finger in the paint. I'll tell you what, I'll do it in this angle. Okay. 
Rip some of that out. Some beautiful drips. Okay, I am sure there are people sitting there saying, you should just have left it the way it was, but I wanted to do more. What can I say? Get the reflection off of it. I'm pleased with it. Popping some bubbles. I'm going to swish through that blue there. Try to get rid of it. I've got a few little dots. I'm going to stick my finger in and just lift that out. I'm going to heat it one more time. mainly to get the bubbles out of the white. So the brown does have a little bit of shimmer, but not a lot. I am going to take these colors here in the cup and just pour them out on my spare pieces of paper. Because this will make some beautiful jewelry. So I'm just taking that and spreading it around. And this doesn't have the silicone, so there's not going to be a lot of cells, but it'll be really pretty colors. So I'll hold on to this and let it dry well. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below the video. There is an Amazon recommendations link, a Facebook group, PayPal and Patreon, and come find me on Instagram. But come over and join me in Facebook. Uh, we've got a lot of great artists there in my group, and they're very supportive of each other, and you can post your pictures and comments there. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.